Hello, this is Harlan. Now, I want you to think about what Jesus came to do. And as I was a little boy in the mountains, I learned a lot of things from the birds and all the animals that I would go and watch in the woods. And this little chipmunk always run by me when I'd go back into the woods. He lived there for years and raised his family there under this one log. And so this is the way Bible worshipers are today. They do not know that Jesus come to set the captives free and that we live by the Spirit. This little chipmunk, he had him a mouthful of nuts. He looked funny when he'd fill his mouthful of nuts and run back in his hole. And I always was amazed by him. Year after year, he'd be there, even in the wintertime and all, he'd be there. And the coal mine, I was in coal mining country. I used to watch the train come in there and haul off as many as 150 gone cars full of coal, take them out of them mountains to Pittsburgh to the steel mills. And I worked one day in the mines. That's all I ever worked. I, I didn't want to work anymore in the mines. And so I left the mountain country. God led me out of there. And the little chipmunk, I always remembered him. I went by him all the time when I'd go hunting. And he reminded me of the people that they was just like the little chipmunk. They'd run and hide under their little houses and all. They don't face life. They don't realize they're made in the image of God and that God lives in us and we're God's sons and daughters. We're not animals that Satan can hook up to a plow and make us plow all day. We're not going to be slaves. Jesus come to set the captives free. You watch them every day, they go out like slaves. And the preachers will tell them, oh, you're going to do great in the flesh. But Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year to the Lord. He come to tell us, don't let some Bible preacher tell you you're gonna do good in the flesh. You don't want the flesh. You don't wanna live after the Bible. You want to be a partaker of the Holy Ghost. Feel the Holy Ghost in your life and let God live in you. And don't be controlled by idols. And the Bible is an idol and the Bible is the mark of the beast. Do not let men control you with that. Be a partaker of the Holy Ghost. Talk to Jesus, walk in God and live in God and let the Spirit of God guide you because this is the only way home. And we, He's got a home for us forever. So trust in the living God and ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost.